Temperatures have dropped all the way into the 20s as far south as New Orleans, where we could set a record cold high for today all the way down here you know right now central and south florida is still warm but that is not going to be the case all week i was just looking at key west because i was curious if you get to escape the chill uh no by friday of this week in key west you're looking at highs only in the low 60s and lows are going to be in the 50s so 57 is your is your low all right but i digress because i want to talk about some of these record cold high readings we're going to see today at jfk 18 that would easily break the old record of 27 charleston south carolina only getting to 36 today, breaking the old record of 45, and you actually could start with a little bit of freezing drizzle this morning. Be extremely cautious if you're heading out this morning because that might surprise you. And then tomorrow morning, we start with a record low temperature in a place like Charleston. Record lows into Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, all spots that could break record low readings tomorrow morning. Take a look at the numbers. Indianapolis, 10 below. That'll break the old record. Paducah, Dayton, Bristol, Tennessee going down to six, breaking the old record set back in 1979. Now, by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, some of the records that are going to be broken were set back in the late 1800s. So these are some old records. Friday morning, especially, some of these northeastern records are old ones that are going to come falling down. Look at Binghamton, New York. Yours not quite so old, 1996. But Toledo, Ohio, 11 degrees below zero. This is the forecast low temperature on Friday morning, breaking the old record, which is set back in 1884. And, you know, this cold comes in behind a storm system that is going to be just off the coast and may bring impacts to the coast. So there's a lot going on as we look ahead to the rest of this week into next weekend. Friday afternoon is not going to warm up either. These are the record cold highs that we could see from the Midwest into the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic by the end of the week. Hey, check this out. Right now in Key West, it is minus 26 degrees. Key West, Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, See, uh, I'm actually most impressed that he's able to make some progress in that, in that kind of snow right there. There could be a little more today. In fact, we're seeing that right now, just a little bit here coming off of Lake Erie. There is some ice cover, about 40% ice cover right now in Erie. That's the great, that's the shallowest lake, and so it's the one that has the most ice at the moment. We still have pretty much most of Lake Michigan open. A little bit of ice has started, but we still have some lake effect snow happening around Muskegon this morning and up towards Traverse City. Now, the lake to watch, I think, is right off of Lake Ontario. As we get those winds to really pick up the moisture and move along the lake that long fetch we could see 8 to 12 inches of snow that lake effect snow warning there in effect through tomorrow afternoon we'll be right back here's day 2018 welcome everyone we'll throw the maps on the floor and get you started get your year started off right uh maybe not right it is frozen it is frozen america with about two-thirds of the country seeing temperatures below the freezing mark. A lot of spots sub-zero to start your day. And, of course, the lake effect snowfall is still lingering. Yes, there's some ice forming on the lakes, but not everywhere. And so we are going to be watching the lake effect snow still be an issue. Now, by the time we get to the end of the week, we could see an east coast snowstorm, maybe even affecting us in the south all the way up into New England. There's some things, though, that have to happen to make everything sort of come together just right. And we'll detail all those options for the forecast right here on AMHQ. I'm you Jeff think Carl cabin Agnes. fever is going to be a big deal for people? Yeah. Do you think people are just sick of being inside? They want to get out, but Definitely. there's no escape. I mean, no, I mean, plus everyone's off, right? Kids are off. Yeah, right, Folks right. Are taking their vacations and, and you haven't been out of your house in a week because the, it's been below freezing. The cold's the worst visitor of all. and doesn't yeah. even bring eggnog over and stuff. Crazy times. <laughs> well, we hope you're staying warm this morning. More than 200 million if you're waking up under some kind of cold weather advisory this morning, they're all over the landscape. All right, so what about football? NFL play.